Now, joining us on the program, Katie Pavlich is with us from townhall.com. Katie, how you doing? I'm doing well. How are you? I am excellent. Thanks for coming on the program tonight. And uh, we've also got with us from the gun blog Snowflakes in Hell, the blogger Bitter. How you doing, Bitter? I'm doing great. And yourself? I'm good. Uh, we're going to see you in Pittsburgh, PA next week, right? Yes, we are. Excellent. All right. Uh, and are you hoping to see uh, Mr. Eric Heil when you get there, Bitter? Oh, I would love it. I would love the opportunity to educate him on what real women gun owners are like. Yeah. Or real women, for that matter. Or, or real women, for that matter, yeah. Because, you know, it, it's interesting, Katie, uh, I read your piece at Town Hall yesterday, Women Don't Carry Guns Because It's Fashionable. Mm-hmm. I th- I think most people get it, uh, but, you know, you read this column by Eric Heil, and it's 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 like he never i don't know he says it's satire i guess but katie did it did it read like satire to you it is absolutely not satire if it was satire i don't know why the article that he wrote would be unavailable today to look at i think they pulled it from their site you can no longer view it and i think this guy just in general doesn't know a whole lot about women and for him to say that you know carrying a gun is not fashionable as you read in my piece i pointed out all the reasons why carrying a gun is fashionable um, you know, they make all kinds of guns now for women and in different colors and whatever. But my point was that you don't have to make things in different colors for women to know how to use guns, to know how to protect themselves, and make a statement for themselves. And the fact that he was acting like women shouldn't be concerned with that and the NRA shouldn't be so-called targeting them simply because they enjoy things like going to the spa, I thought was ridiculous. Yeah. Now, I do have to say, I, I just clicked on the uh, link from Snowflakes and Hell and the the article did come up for me, Katie, so... Uh, I couldn't find it earlier, about five minutes ago. So oh, really? I don't know what's going on. But Ooh, maybe we've got I some breaking news. I did discover from commenters that it's not showing up in mobile versions. In mobile okay. versions. Maybe that's why. That could yeah. be it, because I did look for it on mobile, so... Aha. Uh-huh. Now, you actually, Bitter, you heard from Mr. Heil in the comments of your blog. I did. He popped in uh, the day after I posted about it, and... Like you said, he just accused us of simply not being adept at recognizing satire. But I quickly refuted, as did some of the other commenters, that if this did meet the definition of satire, the people he was mocking, they weren't NRA members, they weren't gun owners, they weren't even female gun owners, Mm -hmm. they were women. Mm -hmm. And I don't understand how that gets published in 2011. (laughs) I, I... I don't either. I mean, I, really, I, as, yeah. I, as I read this the, the very first time, my jaw was just slowly dropping. And I got to the bottom where he writes, uh, the firearms industry is unlikely to successfully tap that market until it conquers the pesky preconceived notion that likely turn off many females to the idea of gun ownership. Women likely won't consider packing pistols if they're concerned that spending several hundred dollars on a serviceable handgun might leave them without enough money to get the full treatment at that next visit to the day spa. Carrying a gun in a small purse would leave less room for more important items like lipstick or a compact. Uh, Gunpowder residue might stain the new Karen Scott blouse. They just bought a Macy's. The baggy clothing required to successfully conceal most holsters would make them appear frumpy. Uh, you know, it, go, it goes on and on and on and on. Like, again, this, as you say, this isn't satire. And if, it, if, if, it's, if it's making fun of anybody, uh, I, I, you know, the more you read it, the less it's it's making fun of women who own guns, and really, it is better more just making fun of women. Exactly. I mean, in my initial post on the topic, I kind of played around with, well, what if we changed certain elements of this? Where would it still make sense? And if you changed women out for men, it wouldn't make any sense. So instead, I changed. Well, what if we focused instead of on the topic, what he's really saying. So I switched the topic to if it was the ACLU convention and if it was about teaching women how to put on a better protest or be more effective in their political speech. And that kind of worked because what he calls satire still kind of stuck. And, again, once that focused on um, who he's really mocking were women and the fact that he tried to attach that misogyny to NRA is just absolutely offensive. I mean, I've been an NRA instructor. I have been involved with NRA since I was in college, and I have never encountered that level of misogyny in anything that I've done with NRA or its members. Yeah, yeah. I know. And, and, and Katie, you point out uh, the uh, an armed citizen story that uh, we recently covered uh, from uh, Florida, Megan Brown, 25 years old, a uh, beauty pageant winner 
who defended herself and her fiance yep. uh, against an intruder in their home with her, uh, her her pink, I think it was a pink 38, right? Yeah, it was a hot pink 38 special, and she took him out. So this proves that this, everything that this guy wrote was completely wrong. And to that point, if he, he like, the entire piece was about making fun of women, correct? And if he, he, what he was saying in his article, he believes in that shooting is a manly type of activity. Shouldn't he be encouraging women who he's making fun of for going to the day spot to take up shooting? I mean, the entire article just made no sense at all to me. And I yeah. think that the idea that he's claiming satire now is really just to cover himself because he got a lot of negative feedback. And I don't. I think it's just a cover up. I really don't think that's what he meant by the entire thing. No, I don't. I don't think so either. I mean, given especially the uh, fact that I, I think. Uh, uh, again, at Snowflakes and Hell Bitter, you and uh, Sebastian pointed out that a few years ago, uh, this guy wrote another column, this time uh, attacking hunters, or as he referred to them, slaughterers, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. And, you know, what I've found most telling, it's not just what he initially writes, but I'm appalled by both what he and his employer allow him to write back to their own readers. Um, NRA highlighted that whenever a member wrote to him, disagreed with him, and simply laid out some different arguments, he wrote back, yeah, well, we all have our opinions, but the difference is I get paid for mine. And we had commenters who had emailed him in response to this latest column who also said, you know, I really don't agree with what you said, and here are a few arguments against it. And he displayed the same kind of attitude of just completely dismissive, not willing to listen to anybody else. And at least one of those commenters said he's a Pittsburgh area resident. So I'm really surprised that he gets away with treating readers like this. I am too, especially in the uh, the tough media environment that so many <laughs> newspapers are facing. Uh, you know, Katie, maybe uh, maybe you should submit your resume. Maybe they need a new columnist. What do you think? Yeah, you know, I just don't understand what his motive was here. If his real goal is uh, clearly, you know, anti Second Amendment, anti gun ownership, he should have just said that women shouldn't be carrying and owning guns rather than going about this sexist way and then trying to defend himself by calling it satire when that's clearly not what what the issue is i don't understand how you know he couldn't just get to the point of i don't believe you should you know carry guns and women especially shouldn't because their place is at the spa so you know why didn't he just come out and say that why did he have to do this huge attack on women and then try and defend himself with a lie what is what is the reaction uh been in the comments katie have you heard from a lot of female gun owners yeah, lots of lots of personal stories about, you know, my daughter was living alone in a big city and her, you know, living in one one bedroom apartment and her house was invaded and she was able to defend herself and one person pointed out that one of the most successful shooters in in the history of gun ownership was Annie Oakley and they just thought it was, you know, ridiculous like the rest of us did. So, they're all definitely not pleased and less than impressed with what this guy had to say. Yeah, and uh, in bitter, I, I I'm going to make a prediction here that uh, Mr. Heil, we have not heard the last from him. I'm I'm guessing that there will be another NRA related column uh, that he'll be pinning uh, over the weekend or uh, early next week before the uh, annual meetings begin. I have no doubt, and you know it kind of makes me think that he's really just quite a sad man in need of some serious attention. <laughs> I can't figure out why else he would have written this, and certainly not right before the NRA meeting. But uh, last time I checked, which granted was yesterday, he's normally a pretty regular columnist with the paper, and he had not published any other columns, so he might be keeping his mouth shut for now. Uh, Interesting. And might we see a, a letter to the editor or two, you think, about this? I, I that, wouldn't be surprised if one ran in the next several days. That's uh-huh. what I'm hearing, but right. there's no guarantee. So. All right. Katie, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to step on you there. Oh, no, that's okay. I was just going to say that I think Mr. Heil got his man card, stri- man card stripped a long time ago, and this is his way of trying to get back at the world for that. <sighs> well, with that, Katie, thank you so much for coming on the program. Have a great weekend, and uh, look forward to talking to you again. Yeah, we'll talk to you soon. All right. Uh, and Bitter, thank you so much for joining us. We will see you Next week uh, in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, you and thousands of other female gun owners. Absolutely. Thanks again, Bitter.